Thank you. You don't sound honest. I am being very honest. A real good <laughs> job, Ian. Thank you. We're gonna talk <sighs> drawers. Are these all boxes that will be add-ons to yeah. suspend underneath yeah. the sit-stand desk? Right. Okay. Not this one, but it looks no. suspiciously the right size. Oh, this you're right, it does. <laughs> offer block. So the idea is, we basically, the 32 millimeter system, which is where the drawer slides, the hinges lock into, this is like five hole spacings, three hole spacings, two hole spacings. So we have like 10 units of drawer modularity. Yeah. Yep. So we have a full one. We actually just made a little baby half one. Which oh, I kind of like this one a lot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. These guys are pretty freaking heavy. Chunky. And like putting all that weight on that cantilever base yep. is a little bit of a problem. We kind of have like the size we need. Now it's like, how do we want to make these? Because there's like a million ways to do this joinery, the, yep. the drawer boxes, the drawer front, just like everything. Designer, design already. <laughs> no, it looks, it looks. We could do solid maple dovetail drawers with integrated rabbited dovetail drawer faces. Undermount, push to open, soft close, drawer slides. That's like as good as you can get. We're doing this big bevel in the front which automatically causes problems. Just a straight miter here, I don't think we can accurately glue that up. Nope. It's like a nightmare. Nope, that's a fool's errand, you shouldn't try that. This is great, dovetails are strong. Yep, we have a dovetail machine. Then how are we doing this bevel? Why don't we just miter and you like run a spline? That will key them together. So pretend- That's not a bad idea. There's like a key. When you cut this 45, you also run a groove along the length, all the way down here and here, and then when you glue them together, you add this piece of wood. Oh, yeah. And then that, that stops them from shifting. Yeah. When you, yeah, oh, that's a good. Slide. And it could be a lovely little accent. So that's a good one. Great. Drawer slides. Push to open, and then, no. no. Oh, it's not a soft close. <laughs> These I mean, ones are. That's what I was thinking. These ones have soft close. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I don't like push to open. I don't like, well, then you need to pick out hardware. Ooh. We just stick with the screws. Right. Yeah. Perfect. That's We're fine. Done. We'll get a little wormwood in the head of the screw. It'll be great. So these are undermount. You can't see them here. Yeah. These are side mount. It's kind of gross because you can see them. Yeah. Tell me how crazy this is. Yeah. What about the groove drawers, wooden runners? And besides, like drawers were built for centuries. Instead of having a hardware solution with like metal and rubber and grease, there's literally just a rectangular strip of hardwood it pokes out right here. This drawer has that groove right there on both sides, which registers into that wooden strip on the side, and it just slides in and out on that. And where this set of slides costs 60 bucks, two strips of wood are 50 cents. Yeah, exactly. They're lighter. <laughs> These things are not light. Like, there's a fucking lot of hardware in it. For the size of the carcass, there's so <laughs> much hardware yeah. in here. All of this for like, you get like a half a square foot of space. <laughs> For this drawer. <laughs> yeah. You lose an inch and three eighths of vertical height each drawer slide. Where with the wooden side slides, you lose zero. Make a box, mock it up. Just throw some in, make some drawers with some slots. Let's just see how it feels. Okay, cool. Game plan. Slide drama. Oh yeah. Yeah, because that, that's that's what I'm that oh, sorry, I spit on you again. Poor Matt, just come with a poncho. Sure, so I'm just I like, he wears a mask. The mask on there he, is. <laughs> he only wears that for worm life with you. <laughs> so wood on can we talk about wood on wood? So wood on wood, if it is properly done, is in my opinion the best type of drawer construction. It feels silky, it's natural. Metal slides, they, they make up for a lot of sins. If your case is a bit little bit like whoop, whoop. That's the sound of the police. Like the slides can make up for a lot of that, especially if you have a, yeah. an overhang. You like compensate for bad construction. You can't do that with wood slides. The downsides of wood drawer slides is you can't have full extension, at least right. not, not easily. How do you stop the drawer, but then make it reasonably easy to be able to remove it to get into it? So this is the full extension that you can't get. This drawer comes all the way to the back. A wooden slide, you have to stop about there because it will literally fall right. out. We can have a prototype of this tomorrow. The drawer slides aren't coming in for a week and a half. Talk about supply chain bottlenecks. Yeah. Drawer slides are 100% fucked up through the supply chain. Anything we can do to get out of the global supply chain, yeah. we should do. We always could just do like hickory right. or purple oh, yeah. heart yeah. or a really, really, really hard wearing wood. 
Yes. And then like we literally make everything in house. Right. And if it's solid maple on an oak or hickory runner, we'll be fine. If we can do it, I do love it. Just because I'm a woodworking snob. What is this? Taking my pictures off. Who is this? I don't Ten know. principles of good design. Who is, who is this? Cedar Roms. Cedar Roms. Cedar Roms. I have no idea. <laughs> principles of good design. Read them oh, up. Okay, what's that? Let's Read go. Up. Let's go to the sit stand desk and see if we're hitting these. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's see if you guys are hitting principles of good design. All right. I'm confident. <laughs> is it innovative? I think so. It's got extra features that other people's sit-stand desks don't have. It does have features I've never seen on any other sit-stand desk. Yeah. So I'm gonna give that like a ding. Number one. Is the product useful? I will say sit-stand desk and modular game table are the most useful things Wormwood. Uh, yeah. Like, yeah. we make a bunch of useless stuff. I don't yeah. know if anybody has noticed <laughs> that. Is it good looking? Is it gonna be handsome? This one's a little carved up right now, but I yeah. think it's handsome overall. Remains to be seen. <laughs> give it a provisional. Yeah. Is this product understandable? I think so, yeah, you walk up to it, you press the fucking button, what, what do you want? I don't know. That gets into things like this, like, oh, this is obviously where you're supposed to sit. Uh, you have like little keys like that that like cue you into how to use the product. Right. Is it unobtrusive? Your cable management does that a lot. Uh, like hide all the mess so you're not like distracted. Trimming down the cubbies so they're not super yep. uh, eye heavy. That sort of stuff makes it less obtrusive. I don't know what this is. Is it honest? I don't know what that means. Let me let me expound. It does not make a product more innovative, powerful, or valuable than it really is. It does not attempt to manipulate the consumer with promises that cannot be kept. Ooh. Ooh. I think that comes down to the, the, the lift mechanic. That, I will tell you the thing I am most concerned about with this table is the shelving and drawers and stuff in the drawers. Like, is it gonna have the balls to actually be able to like, We've been doing a lot to mitigate that. This guy with both cabinets, all the drawers and everything, and a me on top of it, went all the way up and all the way down. He did a better uh. test. <laughs> I will say it's gonna vary a lot on species. Throw very Wenge cool, or Purple yeah. Heart on this bad Larry. It's gonna, yeah. heavy. It's it's gonna, gonna be heavy. a lot what you keep in your cubbies too. Their collection of players' handbooks. It's got yeah, could be yeah. could be heavy. Kettlebells. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is actually, I don't know, long lasting. I have a lot of confidence in the woodworking. Which by the way, most sit stand desks are particle board bullshit. Yeah. But what about the base? So the wood's gonna last, the frame is gonna last. I guarantee you the motor won't last. Motors don't last, ever. Will yeah. we be able to offer replacement motors? Yes, all of these frames are designed so you, you can swap the motor in and out. You'll have to disassemble a desk and reassemble, but it's not like chuck the whole desk because the motor broke. Is thorough, down to the last detail. Not yet, but we got a lot of little. Now, knowing Jason, it will be overly thorough. That's what I fret over constantly. Is it environmentally friendly? I don't care. How dare you? This project specifically is being made in a way to cut down on our waste. Oh, and that's a great point. Yeah, this and one by it definition. is electrical. Doesn't use any other wonky we stuff that the, will affect your The atmosphere. gas powered. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, it is. Because we are doing the finger joint at top, this desk will have the lowest wood waste of pretty much any woodwork product I could think of. This is gonna be all metal and wood. And metal is also recyclable. So just throw it in the blue bin when you're done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is as little design as possible. Oh Minimalist. yeah. Minimalist. Potentially it could be a little simpler. I think it'd get ugly though. I actually don't know if I I don't know if I agree with it. I don't know who this guy is, but I don't know if I agree with number 10. I think it's more like there's not over embellishments. It will not be over embellished. This is a fun distraction. Theater arms. Theater. Bennett came up with such a good idea. The problem with wood sliders, they they work really good, but you can rip the drawer right out. Yeah. So Bennett, clever son of a bitch. In the drawer runners, there's like a slot. Yep. And then on the side of these drawers, there's just little threaded inserts with screws. Screw it out, and that is captured in that slot, uh... so you can't pull it out. It's a stop. Yep. You can't pull the drawer out. That's pretty cool. I think it's clever. Has Ian seen it? No, not yet. So we can go show Ian and Cristaldi, see what they think. Ooh. <laughs> I think oh. this is an excellent choice. We should go with three different handles <laughs> on each drawer. I like where you're going with this. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Is it gonna... <laughs> oh, it stops? 
Ooh. Oh, yeah, see? I was actually looking to just like pull it right out. Right. So this is the super simple ancient technology solution to the, like the expensive massive <laughs> hardware problem. Yeah. Yes. Very simply, there's just a groove in the side of the drawer and then a wooden rail attached into the side of the carcass. And it's just screwed into the same type of hole mounts. So you can organize the drawers kind of however you want. Oh, that's so cool. smart. So you could still do, hey, we're gonna offer these sizes of drawers. You can mix and match them in this way and it'll still work. The plan is gonna be like, there's a configurator and you can do like two small drawers, two medium drawers. Small, medium, small, medium. Or like two large. Too large. Yeah, just like whatever you want. Pretty cool. the idea. And it just shaved a hundred dollars off like the potential price oh. <clears throat> at least. Like 200? 400 dollars. 400, okay. <laughs> the best part is like it, it saves that much cost, but it's not even a worse solution. Though honestly, you could argue it's better. Wow, that's a 360 degree win. There is no the drawback. Is like, the only drawback is we have to make them, but they're very easy to make. I wouldn't even consider that a drawback. Nope, I consider that you an advantage. things for a living. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, that's awesome. All right, great. Oh, oh. Wirklich ganz kluge Grundrisse, und zwar kleinere Grundrisse, überhaupt möglich sein werden. Und da passen die meisten Möbel, die Sie heute in diesen Wohnlandschaftsmagazinen sehen, überhaupt nicht rein.